Hello artists and welcome to virtual art lesson number five. This is for quarter three with fourth through fifth grade and of course with myself and this is Taurus. Um, you guys are going to notice I don't have an image of myself floating around talking to you. I had to change uh, programs I've been using to record so that my it doesn't lag too much on you guys, okay? So let's get started. Alright, so remember we're still studying Black History Month and we are focusing on artist Carol Walker who is an African-American artist best known for her room-sized cutout silhouettes that focus on American slavery and racism. Uh, the new vocab word that we're going to focus on today, guys, is called social justice. Social justice is just making others aware of important issues that we should all care about. This means working together to change or make an issue better. And that's what Carol Walker did a lot with her artwork, was bring to light things that are very important. So our learning objectives. I can draw a picture of a silhouette that shows social justice. I can explain how my art shows social justice. So real quick, let's brainstorm. I came up with a couple of few ideas of different things that are social justice or issues in our community that you looked at and focused on. So I just kind of gave off like treating others fair, recycling, homelessness, food, you know, food for all and COVID-19. So, and then once you have an idea, you can pick one of these guys to use for your idea, or you can come up with another issue that you think is important that people need to be aware of. But you need to think of one idea and think, how are you going to draw that out using shadows? So I kind of brainstormed four, as you can see. So to show that people are, should be treated fairly or nicely, you could do a draw a picture of two hands shaking, peace sign, or you could try COVID-19, where you have a hand holding a mask. You can even do food for all by having someone handing food to another person, or focusing on recycling and have a trash bin with garbage sticking out. So this will make more sense once you see my examples, guys. So let's take a look at those. So these are three of my examples kind of showing you how you could do this. Remember, we're doing silhouettes. We're not drawing all the details. And I would like for you to put some type of sentence so we know what you're trying to tell us with your picture. So feed the hungry, give peace a chance, or mask up. All right, let's take a look at some of the processes of how I did this, okay? Yeah. So I just traced my shadow, and I did use a little light here to help kind of cast my shadow, as you can see. Don't look at that mess over there. Now, obviously it doesn't look super nice compared to what a peace sign would normally look like. So if you want to go in, you can kind of fix it a little. So it looks like the right shape. And obviously my figure should be that skinny and thin. The whole idea is that you were tracing the shadow as best as you could. And if you need to, you can go ahead and fill it. After that, all you gotta do is fill it in with a black colored marker, pencil, your choice. So that's showing peace and treating others fairly. Uh, just be sure guys when you submit your artwork you tell me like write me a comment let me know what you're trying to show for your social justice what's your important issue you're trying to convey all right let's go to the next part how you do this without drawing it all right so this is trying to show how you can make this guys also for when you want to say feed the hungry i'm going to use this and make it look like there's a hand giving out another a hand open wanting the food And that hand is handing an apple. I'm going to fill it in nice and black, okay? 